So Kira from OK Baby took a little break from social media for a while after getting an intense amount of backlash surrounding her cheating on Oscar with her ex-best friend's fiancé. Turns out that somewhere around the end of Kira and Oscar's relationship, Kira was having threesomes with her ex-bestie and her ex-bestie's fiancé, who Kira is now officially dating and going on threesomes with during her holidays, which she goes on on her child-free weeks. Sia, when this photo got exposed of Kira in Vegas with her new man. Boy, did the internet go off. Kira hasn't responded to anything. Oscar hasn't responded to anything at all since all this went down. So Kira's probably controlling him from behind the scenes, making him shut up because the thing is, even if Oscar did expose Kira, she'd make his life hell forever because they have four kids together. And you know, he'd be paying huge amounts in child support if Kira stopped working, if she stopped making money off social media. So anyway, none of this has stopped the internet from going off at Kira dragging her, ripping into her. She legit thinks that she can do all this dirty shit and get away with it and poor Oscar is suffering big time. At the time it got exposed that Kara was dating her ex-best friend's fiancé, she'd released this huge statement on Instagram and since then she's kind of just taken a bit of a break off social media, hasn't really posted many videos. In the videos she has been making, she's been avoiding the topic completely and deleting comments and she must filter out certain keywords so when people say Oscar's name or mention her new man's name, the comments automatically get filtered out. It also helps that the like to dislike ratio isn't a thing anymore. So yeah, she kind of took a break off social media after this statement she'd made. Hearing about a bunch of wildly fun rumours after my breakup is comical. I'm so sorry to anyone who has come across any negative things about me or my family. All I will say regarding this is the same people will do anything in their power to try and bring others down. Be that through rumours, lies or anything else they can get their hands on. On. It's not worth my time to defend every single thing said about me, but I will say this. Regardless of if you want to believe it or don't, I did not and have never cheated on Oscar. I've never cheated on anyone in my entire life. As you can see by my actions, if I'm not happy, I will leave. I will also say what is being said about me on the internet is so far-fetched. Most of it an outright lie. And believe it or not, people in my real life are doing well. Who I date, when I date will never be made public until way down the road. You don't bring them home to mama on the first date. It's it's ironic how so many people say they are worried for my kids, but the only thing harming or embarrassing them is the drama and rumours that those exact same people are creating and spreading. I am happy, my kids are happy, and I will not let this bring us down. Thank you for the crazy amount of supportive messages, comments and texts I've received over the last little while. I know the sentence is cliche, but I truly mean that it helps way more than you know, and I don't know what I did to get so damn lucky to receive all the love and supporters that our family has. So we have a video to break down today. Kira recently posted a video which was kind of clickbaity. It was called New Hair Medication Moving and More, where she addressed and also didn't address stuff that everyone's been asking. She's definitely deleting and filtering out comments, it's pretty obvious. So yeah, we need to address the tea. She started off the vlog with her FaceTiming her four kids that are currently with their dad. She then went to get her hair done and then she started addressing and not addressing things. So yeah, she went on holiday with her mom pal recently and on Instagram she'd posted this pic of them on their trip and she was just getting destroyed in the comments. Until she steals your man, nothing is off limits. Someone else said, deleting comments still. Okay. My mental health was struggling a lot as it still is. As you can imagine, having my kids only 50% of the time is having effects on me that I can't even begin to explain or really even understand. And of course, we can't forget that the main reason for her split with Oscar was for many reasons, but now it's come out of the woodworks that she allegedly moved on really fast with Preston, or well, she was seeing him when her and Oscar were together. So yeah, she kind of only has herself to blame here. Kira has a way of sweeping things under the rug for ages and ignoring things and blocking people, so who would really know what's going on? So, breathing works for some people, but it didn't for me. For me, um, I showed this a few times, what's really helped is just literally being the most busiest version of myself I can be like. So Kira explained how she's dealing with her mental health at the moment and how she suffers from really bad OCD and it's increasingly gotten worse since her split with Oscar and all the scandals probably. So her way of dealing with that is to keep herself extremely busy and she's been getting so much hate recently for being a part-time parent. Her and Oscar do 50% custody but then when she does have them in her care she gets a full-time nanny apparently to look after them so she's been getting so much hate for that but now 
now she's saying she keeps herself super busy because it helps with her mental health. Independent or do you thrive? This is a really good question. This was one of my biggest worries or fears, if you will, excuse me, after um, Oscar and I split was just like living alone, being in my own space. Like I do get lonely, but I think that's mostly because when I don't have my kids around, I want my kids around. So that's interesting that she states that she's lonely because she's not. That's a lie. She's either with Preston or maybe they've split since all the drama went down from like the past month. But she was discussing how when she first split with Oscar, that she wasn't used to being alone and that she was lonely. That's a lie. She was hanging with Preston, partying, plus more in Vegas, and hanging out with him when she wasn't with her kids. So yeah, that's a huge lie. She wasn't lonely. Now, all the comments under this video were actually very supportive, which is interesting because everywhere else on the internet, she's getting roasted. But yeah, we already know she deletes and blocks people, so that's not really surprising. Opinions and like wrong assumptions and all that, but basically six months ago, I was really, really struggling um, I couldn't even keep food down. I was throwing up a lot. I was struggling with the way that I viewed myself. I like how she puts the dramatic sad music over her talking about how she's had a rough time these past six months. But what she seems to forget is that even though she puts the dramatic sad music over, people know the truth. What about Oscar's feelings when you were allegedly sleeping with Preston? Like, it's just very poor me, poor me, I'm the victim, etc. A weird realization when you get to a point, and I'm sure everybody gets to a point like this in their life when you realize, like, there's you're kind of you're kind of alone in this world. But yeah, well, you only have yourself to blame, and that's why she's alone and lost all her friends and destroyed her own family. And yeah, by the sounds of things, Preston has dumped her. At this point in time, she's fully alone, and he's not with her anymore because he probably can't handle the crap and the backlash that comes along with dating her. It was so much easier when they were doing things low key and no one knew about him, and she was spending those big bucks on him, and they were staying at flash hotels in Vegas. He was living it up, living the high life. With Kira because his ex wasn't making anywhere near as much as Kira and I feel like Preston was sold into this fantasy but as soon as he got a taste of the backlash he was like I'm out and now that Kira's alone trying to navigate 50-50 custody with no one to lean on on her days away from her kids that's what I'm getting from this video I feel like it's a little confessional of where she's currently at like it's not hard to read between the lines if she's saying she's feeling lonely and everyone's like wait how are you lonely don't you have Preston your new man it's very telling. She's lonely because her sneaky link has probably split from her. He wants no more. So now she's going on holidays with her new mom pals to keep busy. And yeah, she's upset and depressed by the sounds of things. So what are your guys' thoughts on all this drama that's going down? What are your thoughts on her recent video? Let me know in the comments.